Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you, uh, do a little follow-up on uh, Darcy's question. That was uh, our tips and trick video number 32. That was about uh, when you get a different number of columns every time you get some data, but you have to do stuff with it. How do you build a macro into that? Well, we've reviewed a lot of different things. Uh, he wanted whichever cell contained MKT space percent sign market percentage anytime it, that was found he would like for that to sort it that range by the market percentage and then he wanted the income column and he, if it said income right here in one of these columns he wanted that entire column to go green and he wanted uh, whatever this was something that started with HH to be abbreviated to capital H capital H instead of the whole word so changed that column title um, but anyway we had a quite a follow-up question actually and uh, this was somebody who was actually trying to do this themselves and they came across a problem they came across an error so if you're coming across errors when you're messing with this we're going to review a little bit about um, the sorting portion of that so I'm going to hit Alt F11 and what we can see here is the convert columns add green that uh, that we just built in the in the previous video and when you go through it here let's let's go through it a little bit um, last row and last column here sort area has been set to this range and we're gonna go from the very first column all the way to the last column from one to LC which is 11 right now and if that is market percentage then we're gonna do something now here's the deal uh, in in this scenario we know that market percentage will be the eighth column and so we do know that's actually gonna happen and so that that being said the market column is fulfilled it's filled with the the number eight but what are you going to do if that you know if it, if it doesn't exist do you you have to decide if you want to so if that if it wasn't fulfilled it would have came right here and it said if market column is empty and uh, it would say there's no market percentage column found and it would go to skip sorting which is it would skip the whole part right here that sorts it now you can have it differently you can have it sort by something else if there's a constant every time you get this report um, and you can have an if then you know if market percentage equals empty then sort it this other way otherwise sort it this way so anyway um, that was the question that came up he said uh, my macro gets an error every time so let's take a look at his workbook really quick uh, this is not his workbook but this is his code. Let's take a look here in his module. Here's his sort by market percent module here. And in running that, we're going to go through pretty much the identical, but the, the step about skipping things, I think, uh, was overlooked. So in this instance, let's say. I'm going to debug. There's only three columns to loop through in this worksheet, but you see that there is no column that says market percentage. So we're going to deal with what happens then. Does that equal market percentage? No, it equals apples. And then you're done with all your X's, so there's no more. And then you go here, and you see that it's going to sort. It's going to try to sort by something that's on row two, column, whatever is in market column but market column is empty so that's going to give us an error it says I don't know what column to use this is empty you're supposed to have filled this for me same with this one market column is empty so you have to decide if you want a backup plan or do you want to make you know if market column is empty sort by whatever's in column one or just don't sort at all which is what we did in uh, in our code in the video that I made is we said hey if market column is empty after all this then tell the user that there isn't one and go we'll weave around it we'll go to the area called skip sorting which is right here which is just that it is skipping the section that sorts 
and just move it on with the rest of the code. So you can either, like I said, you can either have a secondary, a backup plan for sorting it by something else. If you know that there's always going to be a date column, and you can have it find that maybe, or you could just have it skip it altogether. But that's why it was giving an error um, because there's no, it doesn't know what column to use. So let's do something like this, okay? If market column is empty, then market column is column one. And if. So if we had done that, let's hit that. Yes, it's empty, so now it is one. And so we'll just sort by column one, basically. So when we do this, that it can handle that column one, row two, all the way through column five, row two. I mean, uh, row five, column one again. And if you hit F8 and go through all this, you watch this little table up here, you will see that it's going to sort. When I hit apply ready, shazam, it's been sorted. So that's a backup a contingency plan, if you will. That's how to handle that error. Thanks for your question, Darcy, and talk to you all later.